particularly in Shepherd in the presidential debates, mm. that uh, the NDC latches on to raise questions about her appointment. Oh, maybe, maybe in the course of delivering work. Don't forget, the work can be lonely and frustrating. I mean, in the 2016 elections, I was chatting with Jean. The frustrations she had to go through because even the MPP were not interested in taking part in the debate, even though they had agreed. So uh, it's a bit surprising and a bit perplexing to hear that one other party believes that, well, she's really not credible. fact of the matter is that in this job, depending on how you respond to certain people, you come across as being biased or on, uh, the word is uh, not neutral. Ghana, that's what we say, not neutral in one regard. I, I find it fanciful, uh, by the way, and in the public discourse, uh, there may be some commentary you would make, uh, probably in desperation because you are probably angry, uh, but that cannot be misconstrued as being root and stem against a particular political party. That's a tall order. To be against as an institution, to, to set yourself up as a CSO, to be against a whole party. Mm-hmm. I don't think it, it makes it makes. I don't think any institution would do that. I mean, yes, um, you could get columnized as most of us have been columnized. We, we you know, we, we don't mind. <laughs> we, we are not looking for respect for anybody. Cause we, we earn it in other res- regards. But it can be intimidating, it can be worrying when uh, certain political actors okay. behave the way they behave. So for me, I was actually latching on to the fact that her, po- her work, professional work on the political parties program, the understanding of the, political, uh, the politics of elections in this country, the understanding that she could bring the high and mighty together to, to, to discuss on a debating platform, even though I'm not fully uh, of late, I don't particularly like the approach of that debate because I yes and no answer. But it has earned her an enviable position to understand what happens. But yeah. there's a difference between understanding and actually being trust in the work. As I said, um, she may have to consult Charlotte in all good faith to navigate. That's if she gets actually okay. eventually uh, uh, appointed by the okay. um, So um, competency, no doubt. But I would believe that, and again, because she's coming with all, so a few of the people you were suggesting were also outsiders, right? Yes. So the only, out of the four, the only person who was in the commission is Samuel Tete, hmm. who has been working in the commission for over a decade. But then... Well, well, I prefer it's from outside. Maybe all Dr. of them Sarri. need to, all they will have to do, and Jean may have to do that, to fall on their management lessons, uh, 101, do a, an introspection with the entire uh, EC. They should look at her in the eye to eye and tell her, well, listen, what do you want to make of this institution? What do you want people to say about you working for this institution? If I recall a story where a friend of mine used to work for a company, the company was always in the news, and then he said he went to the home. He went home one time. The wife asked him, "You cry? What company do you work for? That every day, yeah, in the news for some bad reason or the other." Okay. So Jean should be asking them, all the big those who claim they are Mibahache people, and including the people who are likely to cause trouble, especially the procurement department. You should sit down with them and ask them, "What do you really want to see in this institution? Okay. Do you think this is the way we should grow?" And then her performance charters with them. She should be able to fire any time she wants to fire anybody who is not performing. Because, uh, I mean, that's what will earn her. In right. Her but but, but, but that question about political neutrality, because mm-hmm. that is what's really run through, if I can say, Madame Charlotte or says, uh, at least get in the run up to the election. That's rhetoric ran through the conversation around her appointments up to the election i can say confidently there's a and i'm looking to for us to be better situated in this conversation i'm looking on the facebook wall of a known npp ndc activist he has he has screenshots of various headlines from back in 2016 attributed to dr bosman asari U.S. military deal. Stop pretending to be patriots while in opposition. Bosman Asari tells ndc we sanctioned polls with predicted npp win dr bosman asari Mahama Kambak will be huge NDC risk, political scientist, a picture of Dr. Bosman Asari. And then a number of statements he made which seemed to be, you know, directly at, uh, attacking the NDC. Uh, uh, 
Mr. Dazi, at this juncture, as I said to you, I don't even know the people you are referring these people. So I'm yet to actually know who they are. But if these comments that they are said to have been made may be contextualized, we probably may find that there may be other reasons behind that. But uh, uh, speaking for Jean, by the way, I mean, I because she's the only person I truly, truly know and understand. You think the uh, statement that she made, she was just angry and then Jean we Mensa? should... Yeah, you mentioned earlier that people make statements that are out of desperation and anger. Well, first of all, the NDC says they, are, they have a panoply of evidence, and I'm suspecting they probably will be sharing those with us shortly, so we cannot interrogate. What I'm trying okay. to say is that even as we do the process, uh, there's a healing process already beginning. I don't think if all these persons who have been described as being uh, on, not neutral, especially, what's his name again? Bosman Asari. Bosman Asari, yeah. Um, it's, I'm sure he's going to have some instant renewal of faith right now because then he will ask himself if indeed he made those statements and the way the NDC feels uh, it's, it was characterized. Um, maybe as a result of this exposure, he probably would be of best behavior, you know, um, and I'm thinking that with Jean, uh, in spite of what the NDC would say, I think they might find in her probably a worthy okay. person to work with. I've got to say one last thing mm -hmm. about the consultative process. You know, people have said that the process should have been consultative. I think in some regard I agree. Even though the Constitution allows the president to go ahead, it could have been better if the president had written to identifiable bodies um, including even the end uh, political parties and say look these are the names i have do you have any objections then they bring the objections he says secretary secretary it's PA and a group of people will sit together and go through at that juncture he has fulfilled one important role which is very it's been a consultative process especially because of the the very chaotic nature of how, uh, how Charlotte left the post. Mm -hmm. It have been uh, consultative. And mm -hmm. for me, this is what I would have done. I won't read any of them if I know the person I want. <laughs> but I'll tell you that, yeah, after yeah, reviewing everything, them. I've considered everything you said, but I think everybody says this one. So you think it's just a, a matter of process? It's a matter of bureaucracy? Just like the, 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 the Council of States will eventually be it should be it's just a process. Nothing. You see, so you, it what won't you have any change. Do, I'm not suggesting uh, bad behavior. But you see, if you think that you are in, an, in, the, in the politics of a country where people are suspicious of everything you do, you know, people say everything you do, people are suspicious. And now there's a problem. And because they let, the last EC boss didn't leave post naturally, mm -hmm. what it means for you is that the consultative process must be exhaustive. What I'm suggesting to the president to have done, and probably will do next time, he's actually reshuffled a few people or sack a few people, which I'm sure he has to do shortly. Um, then what will happen is that he doesn't need any explanation. The chiefs can come and see him. Oh, people have come and said, okay, I've heard everything you said, but I think this person is the best. You would have but killed at least, too many birds with one stone. So that means that at least the process that he used now was not... Um, consultative enough, if I'm to understand. Yeah, my, my thinking clearly is that given the saying? backdrop mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. what had happened with Charlotte, and given the fact that these are high stakes, don't 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 think the NDC, never take the NDC for granted. You know they can mass organize people hmm. to cause a lot of uh, may, not mayhem, positive ones. I mean a lot of noise, positively. And you don't like that. You don't want that because you have one district, one factory to execute. You have dams to execute. You have all kinds of things you didn't plan well to execute, like free SHS. So what you do is that you don't want trouble. So you just collect. You say, I said, Masabra, what do you have against this, these people? Okay, Mekotraba. Then he writes it. He comes. Okay. One week later, you tell okay, him, ah, I said, Dinketia. He will even tell you that I'm going to organize a press conference and bring a litany of sins these persons have committed. Okay. Now, look at what's happening. They are not digging into Facebook posts of people. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, Franklin Kujo is our guest in the studio this morning. It's 28 minutes to the top of the hour here. Let me come to Raymond quickly, who uh, yeah. would have a bite at this issue before we move yeah. to speak about uh, double track system of education. I, I agree with Franklin. You see, you have to manage the communication and the engagement because even if it's for mere symbolic reasons, yeah. watch how for 
no apparent substantive reason, the NPP was opposed to Cheryl to say. She delivered an election. Won. Even when she delivered an election, which the president admitted was a very good election, there were still members of the MPP who were still opposed to her mm -hmm. because they perceived that because it was John Drummond in Mahama out of nowhere. And they, they even bring up the point that about this same one was submitted to the Supreme Court somewhere, somehow, and she didn't get there. So what is the real intent in the president seeking to give her some positions of this sort? So she went to NCC, she spent some so, small time and all of that. She was on GCB's well, I mean, yes. board initially. Yeah, yeah. Yes, and then moved to the Electoral Commission. In fact, some of the reforms we see in the Electoral Commission today, she started them. Yeah. Oh, yes. She there brought was a five-year strategic yes. plan. There yeah. was a... And, and for Man the first the time... Logo. Yes, and for the first... <laughs> <laughs> that one, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, clearly. Friend, but to be fair, I mean, I was, I was opposed to this kind of logo change to yeah, something logo. fanciful and all of that. But, but she, she was resolute. Yes, yes, because she was yeah, insistent on making of... specific reform be felt in that institution. Yeah. Mm. My difficulty is that her living divided the nation on whether or not it was right or wrong. Yeah. What you do in that instance is to either fill in with somebody who is broadly accepted or who many will have very little problems with, especially the people on the other side who are likely because, why, well, since 1992, the NDC has been in power for almost like four, four, four times. The MPP has been in power for three times. So, for, and, 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 I mean, the foreseeable future doesn't look like any of these smaller parties will make an incash at any time soon. Look yeah. at the numbers that they've been I'm getting. Starting a party, you start okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying that the reality, yeah. as we see it today, suggests that we are all going to do what they call it, two a two-horse race, race yeah. for a very long time. Okay. So what you do, the main opponents are relevant, even if it's for mere symbolic reasons, mm -hmm. for the engagement to be part of it. Assuming the NDC came out today, remember at a point in time, even another Dr. Kufado said he had no problems with Charles say. Oh, yes. He said it. But it didn't change his party members from saying that, no, this woman, no way. Even when Martin Amidou came out with his commentary about the president's relationship and the, for, the reasons why... And how she must be removed. Yes, all of that. Some in the NPP close to the president said, no, that's not what we have said we will do. And that we are still going by the elections. We believe that she can be a good arbiter of the elections and all of that. At the end of the day, there's still the belief that she was not properly removed. People are in court on that matter, so I'm not mm. sure I'm going to even believe at that point. There's, she was not properly with him, and any replacement can either be a surrogate or somebody that you machinated to bring into place in the first place. No, but you see, that's, the NDC, the, the NDC yes. as a party was opposed to her removal in the first place. Very the good. only reason why they did not demonstrate was because of Papa. the unfortunate demise yes. of KB thought. Let, let, let me finish the thought. My point is that no matter what goes into the appointment of a replacement, you don't expect the NDC to support it. No, but no. the point that Samuel is, make, says, uh, Raymond. Raymond is making is that even if you don't want to, um, you don't, you didn't want to discount that process because of how chaotic Shadow left. And it was chaotic. It was really bad. What therefore happens is you are likely to face the same situation with your mm -hmm. opponent. So the best thing to do is to engage. Just do that. And if for the purposes of... But what would it change beyond perception? What would well, it change? Because I, 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 I honestly don't believe this that... This is what will happen. Look, the, the, let me give an example. Cash for seat saga. There was a committee, bipartisan committee. There was a committee report. Someone wrote a minority committee. So it doesn't really... The, the consultation yeah, in itself does not optics, cure it. But, 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 that, Mr. Dutch, and the, the symbolism optics, matters in this the case a lot. The optics of it is very important. I well, mean, imagine you had Mr. Siddiq mm -hmm. yes, in a handshake with the president at a meeting with... I mean, over... And then the, the shot saying that, oh, we just discussed this possibility. It will neutralize whatever is happening right now. Well, it's 23 minutes to the top of the hour. The advice is that we should have um, had a cosmetic <laughs> um, uh, consultation yeah. process. Or, 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 or even a real, cosmetic. Or the even a real consultation. Cosmetic anyway, so <laughs> what's the point? Just continue doing I'm it. here in the studio with Franklin Kujo, <laughs> President of Humani Africa, and Raymond Nakwa, usual suspect in the Super Bowl. Show. I'm Daniel Daze. You want to stay with us? We'll be right back. We'll be talking about the double track system of SHS when we come back. Here, stay with us. I wake up in the morning, it's a new day.